everybody. This is Simon Sage from iMore. Uh, we are checking out Steve Jackson's Sorcery. Uh, it is coming soon to iOS. Uh, we've got John and Joe. And Joe, okay. Uh, and they are showing off the game here. Uh, it's got a great literary feel. Uh, those of you who have uh, played Steve Jackson's or read Steve Jackson's Sorcery before will uh, definitely recognize some of the stuff that's going on here. So how's it going, guys? Great. Yeah. Good. Thank you. So uh, what, what's the game all about? So, uh, Steve Jackson's Sorcery is a four-part epic fantasy quest across a, a, a land of monsters and magic. Um, you can see the map here. This is this is episode one. This is part one, and we're going to be journeying across the Shaman Tanti Hills. Uh, we've got a map of it, which is kind of where the core of the game journey happens. And you can see it's in the beautiful 3D. Very cool. You got a nice hybrid of like 2D and 3D there. I like it. Yeah, it's a very nice effect. There's some lighting and shadows on it to really bring it out. But, uh, let's find out where we are. So this is very the start of the game. We've just left the uh, our homeland where the tutorial is, and uh, we're going to start this story. And the idea is, as you move across the map, there each little place you go to has a little bit of story associated with it. And sometimes there are some choices you make, and sometimes there are quite a lot of choices you make, which will determine exactly how that story goes. And every choice you make will be remembered by the game. So this is the start. And we're just going to walk on. So it's kind of introducing us to our new area. And then we're on a journey, and part of the journey is choosing which way we want to go. So either we can follow the path, or we can cut across the grass. So uh, this time, let's, let's cut across the grass. So we're going to break off the path. And it starts to tell us the story of what happens when we do that. So uh, let's keep moving. We have another couple of choices here. So, um, kind of a more graphically rich choose your own adventure kind of thing? Yeah, definitely this has choose your own adventure in its blood, but there's a couple of big differences, I think. A choose your own adventure is, uh, tends to have lots of text and then a few choices. And what we've got is, is little, these little nuggets of text, these little nuggets of story, and then lots of choices. Mm. And the, the big thing that you, you can't really see the app doing, but you get a feel for it once you play it, is that the more choices you make, the more the game learns what kind of player you are, what kind of character you are, and also keeps track of what you've done, uh, and changes the story on the fly. It's not quite all pre-written. Some of it is actually dynamically put together. Hmm. Um, so you'll find that characters talk to you differently if you play a different way, and some options will become available that were not available before. And actually the story starts to write itself based on what you do and the kind of decisions you make. So in this case here, we're going we're to play a little bit cautiously, actually. And so I'm using all the options of, wet, of waiting around. And the game is paying attention to that, and that will note that I'm a little bit of a cautious player. It's given me the option to, to retreat back to the path, even, because it thinks I'm cautious, like seeing some creatures. But actually, I think I'm going to approach them instead. Uh, and show some of this. Oh, but something's happened. I've started to fall down a slope. Mm. So uh, again, I've got some choices, and I think actually I'm gonna I'm gonna try and cast a spell to deal with it. So sorcery, obviously by the name, has a spell book in it, and there are 50 spells. Um, you don't have to learn all of them. You can use none of them at all if you like. But if you if you do learn them, and there's a spell book, you can you can do some nice powerful effects. So you can learn for spells that are really suitable for all occasions. So right now I'm tumbling down a slope. So I'm gonna cast a foul spell, which is perfect for floating safely to, to the ground. Oh, cool. So but I've uh, landed near some creatures, so I'm going to talk to them, so I'm, I'm going to try and threaten them. Tell them I'm a great warrior. Uh -oh. And uh, I'm going to put this creature in his place oh. and uh, tell him that he'll suffer and <laughs> die. Oh goodness, all right. And this is launching our combat mechanic. Okay. So the combat is really elegant, really simple, but quite deeply strategic. And basically what I do is it's a sword dueling mechanic, and I choose how hard I want to attack. Do I want to go full on with an attack, or do I want to defend myself? And he's going to do the same thing. He's making a decision. Mm -hmm. Whoever attacks hardest wins. But the more defended I am, the less damage I'll suffer if I lose. And right. if I do a heavy attack now, I'll have less power to play with next time. Right. So basically I'm placing a bet. How high is he going to go? I want to go slightly higher, but not too much higher. Mm. So I'm going to go for a medium one and see what happens. So he went very defended, so I wasted a lot of my attack power there. Because mm. if I'd have gone much lower, I would still have won. Right. But notice when I did that, up here at the top where the story is, this paragraph got written in here, 
and that's a bit of text describing the outcome of that term, and that's procedurally generated. So it takes what I did, it takes what he did, it takes what the damage and the outcome was, and it turns it into a bit of text. Mm. We kind of set us a design challenge. We wanted something that wrote about as well as David Gemmell, and I'm not sure if we've managed that, but it was a great thing to write. Um, and sometimes in the text, uh, you get little clues as well. By reading it, it can give you a suggestion of what the character, what the, what the enemy is going to do next, and that can help you play a better strategy and find ways to outwit them. Very cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this guy is, is going to go for another heavy hit. And that time he went for a heavy one, and I managed to do him a lot of damage and finish him off. Nice. And when you've beaten an enemy, you can tweet that. Because we quite, we're quite like we're using tweets as achievements, basically. <laughs> you can tell the world, because we've got such a branching story, but there's full of things you can do and things you can find. And we like the idea of people being able to tweet all the strange and weird and wonderful things they've done. For sure. I, I'm noticing a few kind of RPG-style elements out there. We've got stamina in the top left. Uh, what, what's that all about? So uh, we've got one persistent stat, really, and that's your stamina. That's your health. It's how much, uh, it's how much health you've got. And if it hits zero, then you're going to die. So you lose it in combat, you can lose it in accidents. Here I, I lost one because I was uh, knocked on the head by a creature I didn't see from behind me. Mm. So I have to conserve that. A uh, couple of the other stats at the top, the rations, well, that's a way of popping my health back up again. Okay. So if I, uh, here I've got a little bit too little, so maybe I could even go to my items now. I've got a ration and I can eat it and you see it's put my health back up again. There you go. But now I've got one less ration. Mm. So I've been uh, taken to the village of the Elvins. Now you've been captured. Uh, yeah, I've been captured so on the next day. Uh, <laughs> Cool. And so the story carries on. Sure. So, uh, when is this coming out? Like, how, how is it going to be framed? Are these going to be uh, in-app purchases, separate apps, or what? So this is book one, and it's going to be released as a separate app. Uh, we're aiming for May the 4th. If you follow us on Twitter at Inkle Studios, you'll know the exact date as soon as we do. That's what we're <laughs> um, Excellent. So that's Inkle Studios. Cool. And uh, the second and third and fourth books will be separate apps. The next one's hopefully going to come in around August. Uh, and we'll make a box set of four apps. Ooh. But at the end of Act 1, you'll be able to save your character and then use that same character in the start of Book 2. Oh, so that's great. will be carrying one character all the way through all four books. And there's lots of things in Book 1 that you can collect and find, which give you an advantage in Book 2. But if you want to just drop in and play only Book 4 and just get the climax, then you can do that too. Nice. Uh, do you have pricing set on any of these? Not yet. We need to look around, see what the competition is like. I don't think it's going to be a, a 99 cents app. I think we need to go a bit higher than sure. that. But you know, we'll have to see what the app store is like at the time. Uh, looks fantastic. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.